guys welcome back to another video <laughs> happy sunday so this is me trying to look for tomatoes on a sunday and then i went down to one supermarket or like down the streets um then it was closed and i was surprised okay how comes it is closed then i remembered reading something about quiet sundays like you can't find like you can't shop on sunday you can't go to the supermarket on sunday because this is a rest day even for the supermarket staff <laughs> so yeah imagine my shock and i think that is one of the culture shocks that i've encountered so far in uh in germany <laughs> apart from the fact that <laughs> today I finally took the wrong train I was supposed to go the opposite direction and I went the other direction and when I was going to that direction of course I bought the ticket and got it stamped and I got to the train it was checked and then when I realized that I had taken the wrong like way <laughs> I came out of the train bought another ticket and forgot to stamp imagine my predicament Aki I cried let me tell you the truth <laughs> I have really cried because I was given a fine of 60 euros and I was told to go and pay for it within the next like uh, two weeks at the uh, urban or whatever customer care center today is the day that I felt like okay I want to go back home as well and right now i'm just walking uh, just trying my luck to see if i will see any place that is open because i don't know i don't like believe in cooking with the uh, tomato paste you know but there is tomato paste in the house and uh, if i don't get the tomatoes then i think that's the only option that i have because the rice is already cooked i have boiled the beans so the only thing is to fry my to uh, be my what is this called <laughs> the onions are cut everything is ready except the tomatoes and yes of course as i can see you know places are closed it's like a ghost town very few people walking about in the streets but uh, i'm glad to see that there is sun you know it's one of those bright days although it's still cold as you can see i'm dressed like somebody going to the moon but yeah there is some sun so, which is good and uh, i'll let you guys know if i happen to find tomatoes but i don't think i'm gonna go so far there is a kiosk um somewhere over there there is a kiosk but i don't know if they sell groceries that's where living in kenya like becomes very efficient because you walk just a few steps and you will find a grocery store you will find a kibanda you'll find like so many things that you need no matter if it's a holiday or whatever so let's find these tomatoes and see to be honest nothing seems to be forthcoming and the only places that seem to be open are actually uh, what are those? restaurants but of course I'm not trying to buy like food from the restaurant I just want to go and cook but ha huh, there's a place here written Lamy's Lebensmittel marked of course closed <laughs> I thought that I had nailed it but yeah it's closed right here I don't know if you can see that in the opposite or you can see it correctly but it's close that would have been a very efficient place but it's also written Montag Beast Zamstag that is Monday to Saturday every place is written Monday to Saturday so I think I can safely just go back to the house and uh, <laughs> use my what is it called my 
tomato paste and hopefully the food will turn out fine because at least I have some spices from Kenya, Royco, uh, pilau masala, garam masala, all that good stuff. I'm gonna try and use that and then I will let you know how the food comes out. Yeah, so guys, I haven't been able to find the tomatoes of course and I'm gonna have to go with the option of using tomato paste so yeah let's just do this let's cook these beans so we keep the spices somewhere here okay uh, and we turn the tomato paste uh, it's not even open yeah so this is what i'm gonna use i don't see any open tomato paste here so spices uh, whatever that is yeah we don't have any so so I guess that's the only option that I have right now so I have prepared some onions over here and some garlic over here and of course these are mixed spices seasoning tropical heat from Kenya and Royco Kenyan Royco so you can never go wrong with Kenyan Royco sometimes even just onion and um, I think and uh, Royco can really add some very nice flavor to the dish so I'm going to just go ahead and cook it that way and see how it turns out oh. bad after all what i'm surprised is that actually this kind of tomato paste is not like the one that uh, we are used to in kenya it's like uh, tomato you know like uh, tomato chunks like the way you can see on this uh, you know uh, image they are like tomato chunks and also tomato soup so it's more or less like tomato in a can and it tastes fresh which i think is brilliant and uh it's it's gonna work for me in this situation because anyway of course i would most definitely go for freshly cut tomatoes in any other circumstance or situation but today uh, i think that's gonna work fine so that is a lesson two lessons have learned today to always make sure that i travel with a valid ticket that is actually stamp time stamped and uh, the second one is that sunday is not a day to go about shopping that i should do my shopping during the week or make sure that by saturday i have everything that i would need for sunday so that's okay that's okay like um i think that life is a continuous learning process so the other thing that i had to learn today was to use the rice cooker <laughs> you know like at home i never see the need to use a rice rice cooker seriously rice comes out just fine when cooked in a pot you know so that's how i'm used to cooking rice even in qatar i used to see like the asians using rice cookers and i never got the point why they're using rice cookers because you know i like that rice that has salt and um oil not like one that's just boiled in the rice cooker. I don't believe that. I don't even know why I have bothered to use the rice cooker today. I think the next time I'm cooking rice, I'm just going to go the old-fashioned way and uh, cook the way I'm used to. So, the whole time that I was out there looking for tomatoes, I had put rice in the rice cooker and <laughs> I turned it on, but I forgot to set it to cook. So... I am asking myself how comes it's like the light is still green then I realized that oh I did not turn it on and then I open and everything is just raw poor me and um, yeah nah, that, that's when I turned it on but I think that doesn't take so much time so there is definitely a lot to learn when you get to a new place a lot a lot to learn a lot of culture shocks a lot of shocks a lot of differences but if you have an open mind then you'll just be able to adapt so that's our rice over here very well cooked so 
guys, yeah, lunch is served and let's see and give an honest opinion about how the food tastes. Hmm. It's not so bad after all. It's not so bad, doesn't taste bad, but I think, um, yeah, the rice of course tastes weird without salt. I'll keep saying that. But the beans, the beans are okay. So, thank you so much. So, thank you so much, guys, for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed today's video. It was just that short and that <laughs> sweet. <laughs> Of, yeah just it's a continuous learning process again and if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give it a like don't forget to leave your comments in the comment section down below of whatever and any other videos that you would like for me to make because I like to mix it up you know sometimes do the sit, sit down videos and sometimes do this vlog so that it's just you know interesting and um, this is guava juice nice yeah, so don't forget to subscribe, comment, share, and um, of course, I will see you on another video. I have so, 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 so much more to share with you guys, and I can't wait. So, tschüss! Bis später!